Possum Partners, it's Mrs. Hot from the Morgan County Partnership with this week's Kindness Collection book. Thank you for joining us for our series every Tuesday to celebrate race and diversity. Are you ready? Let's see how kindness can change the world. Today's story is called The Wednesday Surprise by Eve Bunting and illustrated by Donald Carrick. Are you ready? I am. Let's get started. The Wednesday Surprise. The cover says this. Wednesday nights are special for Anna. <gasps> That's when Grandma comes over with a big lumpy bag filled with books. Oh, cool. Together they read story after story and all the time they're planning a surprise for Dad's birthday. Finally, one Saturday, his birthday arrives and the family gathers. Just when Dad thinks he's received all of his presents, Anna stands up. It is time for the Wednesday surprise, the best birthday gift of all. Donald Carrick's full color paintings capture all the warmth and joy in Eve Bunting's loving text. Oh, those are some great value words already. Loving and caring, things that are positive actions. Are you ready to learn what happens, what the surprise is? I know I am. Let's get started. The Wednesday Surprise. <laughs> I like surprises, but the one Grandma and I are planning for Dad's birthday is the best surprise of all. We work on it Wednesday nights. On Wednesdays, Mom has to stay late at the office and my brother Sam goes to basketball practice at the Y. That's when Grandma rides the bus across town to stay with me. Do you guys like it when Grandma comes to stay with you? I bet you do. I watch for her from the window and I blow on the glass to make breath pictures while I wait. When I see her, I call, Sam, she's here! And he says it's okay to run down, down the long stairs and wait by the door. Grandma! I call out. Anna, she's hurrying, her big cloth bag bumping against her legs. We meet and we hug. She tells me how much I've grown since the last time and I tell her how much she's grown too, which is our joke. Between us, we carry her lumpy bag upstairs. I show Grandma my breath pictures if it's still there. Mostly, she knows what it is. Mostly, she's the only one who does. Ooh, I wonder what it is, do you? On Wednesday nights, we have hot dogs. Have you heard from your dad, Grandma asks Sam. He'll be back Saturday, same as always, Sam says, in time for his birthday. His birthday? Grandma raises her eyebrows as if she's forgotten all about that. Grandma is some actress. When Sam goes, she and I do the dishes. Then we get down to business. I sit beside her on the couch and she takes the first picture book from the bag. We read the story together, out loud, and when we finish one book, we start a second. We read for an hour, get some ice cream, then we read some more. She sounds like my kind of grandma. Grandma gives me another hug, only seven years old and as smart as paint already. Smart as paint, ha! I never heard that before, I wonder what that means. I'm pleased. They're all going to be so surprised on Saturday, I say. When Sam comes home, we play card games, and when Mom comes, she plays too. You'll be here for the birthday dinner, asked Mom. Mom asked as Grandma is getting ready to leave. Oh yes, the birthday, Grandma says vaguely, as if she's forgotten again. As if we hadn't been working on our special surprise for weeks and weeks. Grandma's tricky. I'll be there, she says. Sam walks Grandma to her bus stop. As they're going down the stairs, I hear him say, what have you got in this bag, Grandma? Bricks or something? That makes me smile. Dad, Dad comes home on Saturday morning and we rush at him with our happy birthdays. He has brought Sam a, ba a basketball magazine and me a pebble, smooth and speckled as an egg for my rock collection. I found it in the desert, close to the truck stop, he says. It was half covered 
with sand. Ooh, a treasure rock. I hold it, imagining I can still feel the desert sun hot inside it. How long did it lie there? What kind of rock is it? Dad has stopped to pick wildflowers for Mom. They're wilting and she runs to put them in water. Then Dad has to go to bed because he's been driving his big truck all through the night. Oh, I know someone who's a truck driver. My brother is. While Dad sleeps, Sam and I hang red and blue streamers in the living room. We help Mom first frost the cake. We've made Dad's favorite dinner, pot roast, and our gifts are wrapped and ready. I watch for Grandma and help carry the bag upstairs. Wow, Sam should feel how heavy it is now. Grandma has brought a ton of books. We hide the bag behind the couch. I am sick from being so nervous. Grandma usually has seconds, but tonight she doesn't. I don't either. I can tell Mom is worried about the pot roast, but Grandma tells her it's very, very delicious. Are you feeling well, Mama? Dad asks Grandma. How are your knees? Oh, fine, fine, says Grandma. These knees are fine. Dad blows out the birthday candles and we give him his gifts. Then Grandma shoots a glance in my direction and I go for the big bag and drag it across the to the table. I settle it on the floor between us. <gasps> Another present, Dad asks? It's a special surprise for your birthday, Dad, from Grandma and me. My heart's beating awfully fast as I unzip the bag and give the first book to Grandma. It's called Popcorn. I squeeze Grandma's hand and she stands and begins to read. Mom and Dad and Sam are all astonished. Dad jumps up and says, what's this? But Mom shushes him and pulls him back down. Grandma has the floor. <clears throat> she finishes popcorn, which takes quite a while, gives the book back to me, and beams all over her face. My goodness, Mom is beaming too. When did all this wonderful thing happen? When did you learn to read? Anna taught me, Grandma said, on Wednesday nights, I add, and she took the books home and practiced. You were always telling me to go to classes, 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 Grandma says to Dad. She, let, she looks at Mom. You must learn to read, you say. So I come to Anna. Oh, I get it. So Grandma learned to read. I giggle because I'm so excited. Grandma reads and acts out the Easter pig and the Velveteen Rabbit. It's much smarter if you learn to read when you're young, she tells Sam sternly. The chance may pass along with the years and Sam looks hurt, but I can read, Grandma. <laughs> Nevertheless, she takes out another book. Are you going to read everything in that bag, Mama? Dad asks her. He's grinning, but his eyes are brimming over with tears, and he and Mom are holding hands across the table. Maybe I will read everything in the world now that I've started, Grandma says in a stuck-up way. I've got lots of time, and she winks at me. So, Anna, what do you think? Was it a good surprise? I run to her and she puts her cheek up against mine. The best ever, I say. Oh, wow. Wasn't that cool? Were you surprised? I was. So Grandma learned to read and, and read books for her birthday party with her son. Isn't that cool? Are you learning to read too? You know what I think? That would make a great, great gift from you. Read a book. How about trying it now? Stand up and read for your family. It's a positive action and it shows kindness. Thanks for joining us. Come back next week for another book from our kindness collection. See ya. Thank you, Possum Partners, for, for joining us for the Kindness Collection from the Morgan County Partnership's Positive Action and Prevention Programs. Whether you're two or 92 or a teen in between, grab a book and read about kindness. And remember, on Tuesdays, we celebrate race and diversity and learn acts of kindness that can help change the world today for a better tomorrow. Hope to see you soon on PositiveValuesNetwork.com.